Uganda's tourism sector appears to be on recovery course, attracting more foreign tourists, contributing a significant amount to the national resource envelope. This has made authorities to call for more resource allocation and strict protection of nature for survival of the sector. It is for these reasons that President Museveni made it clear that his government is not ready to give any part of game land to human settlement and not even for agriculture. I cannot see as a park so that you grow more sweet potatoes. <laughs> because I did calculate how much money I will get from sweet potatoes compared to tourism. <laughs> Speaking during the pass out of 430 rangers in the Matson Falls National Park, Para, Noya district, who have received military skills, the president also called for strict hand for poachers, calling them terrible people who undermine the wealth of the country. He wants Wildlife Management Authority to fast track marketing strategies in tourism to increase the number of tourists visiting Uganda. Poaching. I'm glad you are forming an intelligence unit to face these criminals. I'm told they killed an elephant in uh, Semliki some, some month ago. They killed some lions there in Semliki. Some people poisoned lions in uh, Queen Elizabeth. These are terrible people. They are undermining our wealth. Despite reports of significant increase of revenue collection from tourism, the wildlife sector is faced with a number of challenges including land grabbing, poor road network and illegal poaching with the tourism ministry, attributing to international demand of ivory special in Asia. With the increased number of rangers to track poachers, the Minister of Tourism also wants to repossess indigenous species that were exported from Uganda. We have an offer to encourage rangers in this country and very soon that will be coming to you to help us bring the rangers from South Africa back to Uganda because the rangers that we have right now in Uganda are not indigenous. The new staff will help to deal decisively with these threats. I therefore wish to sound an appeal to all watchers out there to down their weapons because their time is pretty much up. A total of 805 million American dollars was collected from tourism sector last year, with the two operators reporting a significant increase of travels in the parks and with additional number of security personnel in parks. Government is optimistic of high returns. This is the group of 430 rangers who has been passed out today, whose responsibility does not only remain with protecting wildlife in their rangers, but also to protect tourists and their belongings. And as they embark on their duty, Uganda hopes to double its earnings from tourism industry. Kenneth Bwire, WBS News.